Do you have a recollection when you started seeing the John Williams music take shape on top of the images that you were splicing together? Well, we had constructed a fairly elaborate temp track for Star Wars. Mm. So when John saw the picture, he wasn't just seeing it silent. He was seeing it with our, with our choices of music. Do you, do you remember and what those choices were? Uh, were I do. It? I remember very clearly. And I've given lectures at USC to the composing class that the whole class is all about temp tracks and how they shouldn't be afraid of them because if John Williams can deal with temp tracks, they can deal with them too. Mm. You know, if John... Awesome. I, I mean, I've played some of the, the cues that we had in there uh, for the class and then I play John's cue and they gasp sometimes at how close uh, John's music is to the, to the temp cue that we had in its place. But, uh, you know, of course, John is a brilliant, one of a kind composer. And uh, there are times when he recognized that our choices were spot on and he, he did something similar, although he, transformed it into something fresh and uh, there are other times when he thought yeah okay we can do that but I, then he would improve on it he would add something to it that we hadn't thought of or we hadn't been able to introduce because we're working with already recorded music yeah. but uh, no john is john is a you know it's interesting the 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 metal sequence at the end of the movie was cut to um uh, a New World Symphony by Dvorak, and mm. uh, in my in this lecture that I give, I take the scene and I put in New World Symphony in place of John's music, and you can see that it was cut to that, and then John's music fit into the same shape. Interesting. Wow, that's awesome! So. Yeah. Oh all of the fans out there, you know, that's a cool fan video waiting to happen. New World Symphony by 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 whom? Anton Dvorak, D V O R A K. Cool. Czech composer. There's also another another moment in Star Wars that uh I had done two pictures with Bernard Herrmann. Mm. Um and he and I had become very close and he had died the previous year and there's a moment where the Millennium Falcon has been captured aboard the Death Star and they're searching the ship and some stormtroopers go by and then a hatch opens up and we see there's a dialogue scene that ensues where they're talking about, you know, we got to, I forget what they're talking about. Anyway, <laughs> at that point where the hatch pops up, I thought the perfect music for that would be a cue from Psycho by Bernard Herrmann. Mm. And it has a very distinct uh, three note signature that's if you know the psycho score it's totally familiar mm -hmm. anyway i put that in as they open the hatch and then as they start the dialogue scene the music goes under and john uh knew benny and was uh, uh recognized the cue of course and when he wrote his cue for that scene in the movie he quoted that three note signature at the beginning wow I mean, he changed it after that, but um, so it's a little tidbit if you want to uh, get out your psycho score and then see how the yeah, score in Star this, yeah. Wars. Oh yeah, that's the score in Star Wars matches it. 